Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. We are of course going to be jumping in as the Keeper now that we have him unlocked wherever the hell he is. Um, keeper? Where are you? What the heck? Did I not just unlock him in the last episode? One second. Okay, my bad. I apparently need to donate, donate exactly one more coin in the last episode. Apparently I have to donate a thousand and break the machine to get the keeper. My bad. I, I went and did that. It's done now. We can play as the keeper. Let's do a keeper run and see how we go. I love this character. Uh, although, if I remember correctly, he doesn't start with 3 HP. You have to get... I think it's... Is it hushed kill? Keeper... One second. Let me check, it, check that out too. Yeah, okay, we need to, uh, basically, to make this guy viable. Oh, wait, how, we don't start with Wooden Nickel either. Um, okay, so Wooden Nickel is Isaac, so we need to do Isaac and Hush to make this guy even remotely playable, which is going to be kind of scary, and we're just going to have to see how it goes. Um, all new treasure rooms will have an angel item instead of a normal item. I'm guessing it's for sale, right? I'm going to try that out, though. I'll take this as well for the library chance. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this guy is going to suck harder than butts um, for a really, really long time. I, I kind of forgot how rough the keeper is when you first have to play him. Because, yeah, no wooden nickel is pretty rough, but no 3 HP is even rougher. Um, we'll see how we go. I'm excited to be playing this guy again. Trying to unlock Tainted Keeper is going to be fun as well. Um, but yeah, um, this is going to be rough. I really honestly forgot the fact that you didn't start with 3 HP or Wooden Nickel. I, for some reason, assumed that you did start with Wooden Nickel at least. It's it's going to be a rough old one, but um, we're going to have to do it at some point. So why not, why not now and why not today? I just think that um, I'm going to have to be really, really cautious about leaving money on the floor for myself. Um... Because I've got no way of generating it. So, that nickel that I picked up earlier, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yum heart in there for five. Interesting. Right, these guys are going to be problematic as well. Not too bad, actually. Ooh, I would like that, though. Yeah, if there's a penny in here, we have to leave it on the floor. Leave them until after the boss, just to make sure... That we have some way of healing if things go wrong after the boss or in this room. Which they potentially could. Oh my god, very annoying enemy. He is so fucking energetic and crazy. Come on, my guy. Right. Hopefully this book ends up giving us the uh, the library we so desperately would need. Oh, that was very bad. Really? Oh, you both moved completely away from that bomb. I left that for you as a little present. Come on. Basically, what, what we need here is we need, like, either an item that's really gonna, like, kickstart us, like a holy mantle, um, or we just need, like, a genuinely really strong run, uh, especially for doing hush, because we basically have to do hush without getting hit at all. Or we need a way to generate money within rooms, which seems unlikely. That's a terrible item for us, unfortunately. Oh, wait. Okay, no. I... I didn't realize that y if you get a health up, you get to three coins. Okay. That makes things a lot more acceptable now. Um, still not great. We don't have the way to generate money. But that makes things way, way more comfortable. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I like it. Again, leave a penny on the floor. We've got two pennies here. Extra key. Danka danka. I, I want to see how this um this angel crown works. Is it going to cost me money for the angel item? I'm assuming so. I'm assuming it'll be 15 or 30 if it's a if it's a better item. But I guess we'll just have to find out. Okay. Really don't like these enemies. Um, I think I can mostly keep my distance and it should be fine. Again, money we want to leave on the floor. So it does cost us. White Rose is unfortunately not a great one, to be honest. Um, try and get the money for it, though, shall we? This way we can get Angel and Devil Item. We need 
enough money coming in to make it plausible, which I feel like is not going to happen. I feel like this is actually probably a bad trinket to have as this guy. Because, uh, yeah, we're just not going to get much. We don't have that way of, that constant way of generating money that you would normally have as this guy, which is going to severely hinder our ability to get those devil deals and to get those angel items, I think. Which is a little bit upsetting. But hopefully we get something along the, along the way here that really ramps up our ability to gain money. We will see, we will see. Right, um... Hate not having a map, as everyone knows, and everyone that plays Isaac will also feel my pain. Very, very annoying. Spider, die. Spiders are so annoying. The way they move is freaky. Freaks my mind. Good. Oh god damn. Now now like every room like room reward that isn't a penny, I'm kind of like for fuck's sake. Oh really? I did not realise those travelled over rocks for some reason. Even though that's obvious. Small brain boy right here. Right. Yeah. I think I might have to drop this angel thing, you know? Because I just I don't see a world in which we get anywhere near enough money to make it viable at all. Like Especially if we're going to be getting devil deals as well. Oh, dude, you can't be doing this, you shit house. Like, we're not even going to get enough money this floor to buy the white rose, I don't think. It's looking very unlikely. I've already wasted some, um, some very precious money on just getting hit. I guess I could come in here and, uh, blow up some fellas. Come on now, two coins off. You can't be serious. Uh, do you know what? I'll go into my shop and try and blow up the uh, the the keeper. Hopefully that'll give me something to go on. Yeah, uh, he's a nickel-eyed boy. Right, I'm gonna hold off on spending though for now because I think the better idea here would be to um, okay, I'll chill out with this guy. I think the better idea here would be to um, see what our uh, devil deal is first. I, I, obviously, I could wait for Angel, but yeah, I'll, I'll go for devil here. Very, very much not a big fan of, uh, of this setup for this boss. I'm very tempted to use a bomb, but our bombs are proving useful in gaining money here, so what the shit was that? Oh my goodness. Dude, no. Okay, use a bomb. Sour patch is decent here. Seven seals is probably better overall, I think. I think I was right to uh, to do what I did there. Unfortunately, we might just die here because I'm now on very low HP. But we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. We'll play it out. Right, let's go. Okay, we've got, we've got to actually make Hush as well. That's another thing I've got to think about. We've got to actually make it to Hush. But yeah, right now, n not a single way to generate any uh, any amount of money. Um, and we are on 1 HP. So we are at the whim of the game to drop us stuff. And I'm just about to say, we got a boss that's pretty rough. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go again. I think losing that item room was probably a pretty big blow to that run anyways. We just gotta remember that getting a HP up does actually kind of save us, so we wanna be getting a HP up on the first floor here. We wanna be getting a HP up on the first floor. Excuse me. Okay, I'm just gonna restart that. That's <clears throat> that was terrible. I didn't realize the fire would um, reach to ignite that, because obviously it's not touching it. <laughs> As you can clearly see. Don't go igniting all that fire, my guy. I've not done question of the day today. I can't think of a good one. Um, so, Propertosis, that's pretty good. Um, hmm. What's the weirdest thing you saw recently in public? That's always a good one. Oh, bollocks. Can't be just picking up coins willy-nilly anymore. It ain't right. 
This probably won't be very useful for us, but I'll blow it up anyways. Oh no, okay, I'm pretty happy with that. The, the fire rate down is certainly not the sort of thing I want to see, but overall that's not terrible. What do these guys do again? Oh my fucking god, they explode is what they do, you moron. They have bombs in their head. You can clearly see that. Idiota. Right, we need... This is a reasonably good run, start to a run. We need a HP up to start this out. Not taking that. That could be a health down. That would be very devastating. Oh, you have to do it, didn't you? Right, let's take out the fires while we have the chance here. Okay. We got him. Did we get him? No, there you go. Now we got him. Yeah, corn isn't really what I was looking for. I mean, this this corn is one of the most useless items to ever exist. Um, really looking for that HP up. Yeah, I'm I'm scared because this runs actually got some legs right now. Like this this runs actually pretty strong uh, with Proptosis, and it could all come tumbling down so very quickly. So very quickly. A few extra bombs that helps though. More ways to potentially get money that might be hiding around corners and whatnot. Okay, poops are like real good for us to destroy right now. Although, probably wait until the room's over so we can hit them and destroy them in one hit. But I'm impatient. I was just about to say, you watch that poop spawn a penny, so I have to walk over it and take the penny. That's the sort of thing Isaac does to you. Come on, game. Do us a favor here. Also, how has this many rocks spawned and none of them be tinted? That's kind of crazy. <sighs> Got stuck on a goddamn rock. That's a gigabomb, baby. I'm going to use this by accident and kill myself with it, aren't I? Okay. Oh, I already forgot about it. Whoops. Come on, one of you, please. Please. Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I forget how stressful early game Keeper is. Holy. A whole other level with this guy. So much extra stress to think about. Oh, wowee. Also, just the fact that I'm going kind of slow as well is, is not great. Like, I feel like I'm, like, really n not in time for Hush at all here. Don't you dare do it, you little marshmallow fuck. Thank you. I want every single room drop pretty much to be a penny. <laughs> I want some keys here and there, but most things I want to just be room drops, please. Uh, as pennies. If I can at, 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 staying alive. Okay. Right. Thing is here, with this, we need to stand real close to enemies, which is mighty dangerous. We do so much damage if we do. Ha ha ha, Devil Deal, you're so fucking funny. Wow. What a fire rate increase. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful, game. I'm so grateful for that 0 0.04 tears up. Truly remarkable. <laughs> I feel so blessed. Oh my god. This is gonna be a right slog. No HP up yet either, which puts me in the scary zone once more. I think we have a reasonable... Oh, that's pretty good. I think we have a reasonable chance of doing okay here, because uh, we're just not getting hit a lot right now. Um, the godhead thing's pretty decent here. Leave that on the floor. Not bad, I don't think. Although, the game immediately makes me reconsider for the bedtime story. I think the bedtime story is potentially better. Yeah. 
He's asleep. See, him being asleep is actually kind of useless for me, to be honest. Right, we've got quite a lot of pennies lying around already. Yeah, the tomato thing we've got here um, actually makes it so that... Give me that. Yes. Actually makes it so that um, we fire a god headshot every now and again. It doesn't gain herming or anything. It's, it's just a god headshot. But still, real good. Probably quite a lot of extra DPS. But yeah, my thinking with the book is if we ever walk into a room... Because uh, the D20 is good because we can reroll stuff into money, which is very, very good. But um, I'm think my thinking with the book here is just that if I ever am in a room that looks a bit too scary, I can basically just stop the room in its tracks. That was a real unfortunate time for me to, uh, me to do that there. Okay. Leave some pennies about. We're up to 15 already, so our next devil deal slash angel deal, we can um, we can afford at least a basic item. Didn't really remember what you did. Oh my fuck! Didn't realize that spider was able to hit me there. But this is why we leave the pennies about. This is why we do it. We've got a few lying around the floor just in case it's a very very scary prospect this because we could just get a floor later on that just doesn't spawn any pennies it's, it's just the risk that, that, that this run holds we just need that hp up so bad good thing is proptosis with the shot speed and stuff we got going on right now it's proving to be very 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 good uh, yeah, our book only being a two-room charge also helps. I'm not using it super often here because, I, honestly, I just want to make sure we use it in rooms where it makes the most sense. I don't want to just use it willy-nilly. Right, good. IOU. Increase the chance of trinket drops after clearing a room or from a chest if held at the end of your run. That's kind of an interesting idea, but I'm pretty happy with the trinket I've got going on right now. Uh, judgment, I guess I'll pop. Unfortunately, very useless. Ooh, I don't like these guys becoming headless. Although they don't seem to shoot, they just seem to leave creep, which makes them a little easier. Bomb. Luckily, um, yo, listen, is going to be particularly quite good here for getting extra money on each floor from the secret rooms, potentially. And maybe some secret room items here and there. We'll see. Check this out. I mean, honestly, storing a charge is pretty good with this, but I have to keep it for potential angel deal uh, chances, because... Those items could be so much better. I mean, I mean, Holy Mantle would be just obviously the most god tier item for us right now. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, it is only zero to one each time, so we're not always going to get uh, something good from this. But that's pretty good. Be careful with these guys. Good, good. Yeah, that, that, the fact that you get the double damage shot out of that is super nice with the, uh, the sleepy time. And there's our HP up. Okay, we're in the running for a potentially decent run now. I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but Piggy Bank gives us some backup. The 3 HP gives us some backup as well. We just have to get reasonably lucky with our drops in terms of what we get from uh, from room to room. Secret room does hold a penny for us. We'll leave that on the floor. In fact, we'll leave all of these pennies on the floor. So now we have a little treasure trove to work with. Do you jump? I forget if you, you do jump. Okay, that's actually fine. Okay, this is a room that I want sleepy time on. Beautiful. Yeah, that's that's so, so nice to have. The D20 certainly has its merit, and I, I genuinely think that would have been a great item had we not have gotten this. But this is so good, because there's so many rooms in which 
We can obviously use it for extra damage, but also there's going to be some enemies that are just really nasty pieces of work. We don't want to have to deal with Super Magnet. I don't think so. I mean, this is a room that I want Sleepy Time on, just so I can get a lay of the land quickly. Dude, excuse me, what the fuck just hit me? I think there was a tiny, tiny little bit of creep there, you know. I think that's what it was. Yeah, lots more money there. Again, kind of leave it for now. That's very good too. I'm going to go back and get my leftover money that's at the start. Because at the minute, obviously, I'm in a, in a somewhat of a rush to try and make hush. But I also want to make sure I have enough money around. Let's go back here. We'll grab this. We'll do these extra rooms on the way back here as well. Okay, okay. I don't want to be doing too much backtracking, so if it's only like a penny or two, then I will leave it. But there was like three or four in this room, right? Yeah, there was four. We don't want to leave four cent lying about. That would be a little bit stupid. Right. Keep this trainer moving. Yeah, the fires are going to be extremely good for us here. Extremely good. I can't remember if they uh, if they fire more based on your luck or if that's just with Bird's Eye. Uh, not Bird's Eye. Um, whatever the other one is. Whichever one of the is the, the Ghost Pepper. That's it. This is Bird's Eye. Right. Decent enough, I guess. Obviously, the the charge of the charge keys doesn't make much of a difference to us, but three keys for a room that costs two keys is pretty decent. A net benefit to us. this out. BFF doesn't really do much for us, I don't think. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's, th this is a horrible, horrible looking room. I don't know if Sleepy Time is going to do much for us here, but I'm hoping for the best. Yeah, Sleepy Time is honestly amazing there. I realize we now don't have it for our boss, but I think that was worth it. Very, very bad boss for us here. I don't know how I wasn't hit there, I'll be honest. Flat damage up, got a bomb back, and... Oh, they don't cost. For some reason, I assumed they costed. Uh, we'll definitely take that, of course. A revive is, of course, good too, but that's better. Um, I guess we'll go for this, because why not? Okay. For some reason, I thought they cost us. Is that just on thingy keeper? I realize we have some money back there, but I'm conscious of time. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to piss around getting too much money here when we're kind of sitting pretty right now. But yeah. The Holy Light there, very, very, very good. Again, it's a, it's a luck-based chance, so it's not going to be crazy high chances for us. But it's decent enough that it'll be useful. I want Spectral so bad right now. Yeah, this is a slowdown room, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, that is proving to be very, very good. And no pennies there. Unfortunately, this floor's rather long. Yeah, I think we've got a pretty good setup. Like, I know I keep saying it, but I'm just sort of reaffirming my own beliefs. Extra penny there. We should leave that just in case. I think the backtracking is going to come to, to screw us over a little bit here. Also, this guy is uh, showing me to a secret room, I think. 
Thank you. Ah, unfortunate. Not a very good secret room at all for us there. These little buggers are annoying. Don't like that. I have a feeling I'm going to have to backtrack to get to my item room. Oh, no. I'm good. Maybe I have to backtrack to get to my boss. We'll see. Yeah, these little buggers are really annoying. A little gish. Honestly, slowing isn't bad at all, so I can accept a little gish here. Kind of makes me wish I'd have bought that BFF now, knowing that I uh, didn't actually need to save my money up, because I'm an and dumbass. Right. Guarantees a curse. Every floor replaces curse with special new kinds of curse. Um, potentially beneficial curses. Ooh. I have to take this. I can't not. Yeah. We got Brainworm out of it too. Okay. That was pretty awesome. We got Brainworm out of that. Okay. Sleepy time on this room as well is going to be amazing. Just to stop these guys fucking moving. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. There you go. Oh my god. So many very, very large rooms here. All of them annoying. Yeah, honestly, this book on rooms like this, amazing. Okay, we got some really very good trinkets there. Cheaper prices, uh, blowing up uh, machines has a chance for them to not blow up, I think that is. Um, oh, hello. Wow. Um, that's some pricey stuff. <laughs> Why is all of that 90, 98 cost? Not quite sure what that's about. Oh, shit. Wow, we got pennies back on both of those, luckily. Absolutely despise this boss. Luckily, he is dead. I'm missing a penny, but I'm at 15 minutes here. I really don't want to go all the way back. I'm going to do something that I'd rather not do. Okay, it doesn't matter. I have a bomb. Ugh, I've got to walk. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm taking a risk here. It's fucking stupid. I realize it. But I'm not spending all that time walking up all that way to get one penny. It's just, I just can't be asked. And if I die for it, so be it. What? I just used my book instantly and I have absolutely no idea why. There you go, see? All worked out. Planetarium, hello. Do you know what? Sleepy time on this room. Didn't di didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Okay. Uh, gives you a random planetarium item every floor. It's actually not bad. It's not amazing, but random planetarium item could be good. It, it'd just be nice if it showed you which one it was. Gotta remember we have brain worms so we can... Somewhat shoot around corners. Of course, the longer our tier is in the air, the smaller it's going to get and the less damage it's going to do. So it's not supremely useful, but it, it's it's nice to have. My corn boy's doing some good stuff, to be honest. Ah, oh, I didn't need to pick that up. Picked up a penny by accident. Well, I'll pick this one up to get the uh, the lunar proc, which it seems to be the item that we've gotten this time around. Um, for this floor. I'm surprised that Luna takes effect after the fact. I'm guessing it doesn't generate the extra secret rooms, though, because the floor's already generated. I, I did the sleepy here to, to get the clickety-clacks gone. Okay, good. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. That's a little bit upsetting. I wanted to check the shop. Ain't even worth it. I don't have the speed to get through that without with, with a guarantee that I don't get hit. Honestly, this level 2 corn boy is kind of sick. I disrespected corn before, but level 2 corn boy ain't so bad. Get 
there's creep there, be aware. Secret room, what do you hold for me? Not that much. Damn it, kind of biffed that. Whoopsie. Beans for item room, we're good to go. 17 minutes, we're not doing too bad here. Oh shit, we're doing really well actually. Damn it, that was a very, very poor play by me. Okay, no, it's okay, we got one of the eyes. We are going this way to kill Isaac. We have Angel Deal. Um, I think this is the better one to go for. I'm honestly not 100% sure. Now, the question is, do I want to bother with Boss Rush? I, I think on this run, I'm going to say no. Due to the, for one, the amount of time it'll take. But also, two, I have no way to generate money right now. I just don't think it's a bad, I don't think it's a good idea. I must say, I don't think it's a bad idea. Don't have any bombs right now. Darren. I actually think this was a really good choice taking Trisagian here. We should be able to trigger stuff pretty often for us. Yeah, the holy light shots there are kind of crazy. Bob's Rotten Head. Very, very good. But unfortunately, not better than our uh, book right now, I wouldn't say. I will take the Orphan Socks here for the speed up mainly, but also for the fact that we no longer take damage on spikes and such. Yeah, with holy light, that's kind of nutty. Okay, I really, really hope we can get uh, a good hush run going here. It's feeling good so far. Um, but we just got to see. Isaac's probably the more important one, but I'd like to get hush in there too. Can you, can you not? I don't like the way this guy like has that weird death thing he does. We've got a few pennies lying around, but just in case. Really? Brainworm, do your thing. I like the way that uh, Trisagian has spectral over just one rock. It can pass over one rock perfectly fine, but once it's more than that, it just disperses. Bit of a waste there. There was a secret room I could have gone to. Didn't realize how quick we were being. We've been like speeding through this run. I, I think I'm just so focused on like not getting hit and playing well. I'm not even thinking about anything else. Another secret room. Is Luna proccing again? It must be. Extra penny to leave there, I guess. Good stuff. Is it my corn buddy that's like just shooting everything for me? It must be, right? Another secret room. I have enough bombs for all these secret rooms, my guy. I appreciate it, but I can't do much with it. Once the holy light shots hit, it's just game over for whatever enemy we're facing. Absolutely game over. Fortunate, but not terrible. Right, down we go. I'm really worried for Hush. I think we can get there, though, based on the run so far. We basically just got to rely on... Um, oh, we got Mars. We got to be careful. We got to be very careful. Um... We basically got to rely on Piggy Bank to save us. That, that's, that's, that's essentially what it comes down to. Piggy Bank is going to be our saving grace. Really? Th this did damage to neither of you? Excuse me? Thank you for all the keys, by the way. The keys right now are very nice. Okay, hold off, hold off, hold off. See the red poop there, do not worry. Okay, we got a few pennies left behind. Mars, you bastard. Why are you the way that you are? I still need to get that mod that stops you from charging on double tapping the key. 
I just want to move normally. Don't make me play the way you want me to, game. I'll sue. I'm not quite sure what these enemies are doing. So many keys, I'm loving it. Not loving this room. Luckily not so bad. Pills are just not even, not even a chance I'm taking pills with this guy. Okay, I know the, for a fact what's going to happen. I'm going to be in the mum fire and I'm going to end up dashing into her and losing like two health. I accidentally picked up that penny. I say accidentally. I, I, I very intentionally walked directly into it. You saw me do it, but I'm going to say accidentally to, to rid myself of any fault. This machine costs five to get a potential stat increase, which is certainly tempting. Certainly tempting. This is a good uh, book room here, I think. Unfortunately, these guys didn't get the memo. And there's apparently another enemy in here. Oh, hello. Managed to escape my gears. Hoping I'm going the right way here. I've got plenty of time, but I just don't want to do any rooms that I don't have to do sort of thing. Heck. Looks like it's through the other L-shaped room. Remember to use my book if I actually to be fair, on rooms like this, I should just use my book because it's literally free. It's like a two-room charge and it's a you get two charges for completing the room, so. Bit of extra money there. Quickly want to grab this key, because obviously we need seven keys for right now for the hush fight, but then we'll oh, we need another four for uh Cathedral, uh, the chest, sorry. It seems that also Prop Tursis doesn't really do anything to, uh, to this, which is nice. I mean, I forgot about the fact that I could get an Angel deal here, so let's hope something good. Um, that's good. We got that just in case. I'll see if I want to do Mega Satan or not. We'll find out. If it, well, it depends if I make it that far, doesn't it, really? More than anything. Pride pin can be in those chests. That's amazing. Holy hell. I did not know pride pin could, could come in those chests. Morbid Heart on use. I don't think Morbid Hearts do anything for us. No, they don't. But the other item was also bad, sir. For us, at least. I'm pretty sure the, 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 this type of Joker card um, takes us to a black market that we can't get out of. It, we leave the floor if we think he's... I'm going to leave that there for now and make sure I don't accidentally use it. <laughs> right. Fight of our life is coming up here. We've just got to get lucky with holy light shots. Unfortunately, so far, not so lucky. We got Mars this floor. I fucking knew that would happen. Bollocks. I have to be extremely careful now. Oh, no, it's it's not going to happen because I need to tap move to, like, dodge the shots. This is so bad. You fucker. I Fuck you, Mars. If I die because of Mars, I'm honestly going to uh, just, just give myself the fucking win because I fucking hate Mars so much. I should have had the mod by now. Everyone makes tap movement when they move around. Why, why make an item that activates on tap movement? Very frustrating. Basically, my way of counteracting it right now is never stop moving. If I don't stop moving, I can't Mars, is what my theory is right now.
Nope, that theory is incorrect, apparently. Fuck you, Mars. Mars might be one of my least favorite items in the entire game because of the way it works. Even though it has, like, pretty good positives, like, getting into care rooms for free and, like, using on-hit effects and stuff, um, or on-touch effects, should I say, still hate it. Still despise it because of its ability to just screw you over. Come on, dude. Get the fuck out of the ground. Come on, holy light. Do your thing. Come on, holy light. Do your thing. Hey, okay. Push is done now, at least. That takes off a lot of the stress. And we go up and up and up. Oh my goodness. Fuck you, Mars. Holy hell. Worst designed item. We still have Mars. Dude, do you know how many fucking planetarium items there is to randomize between? And we've had Mars three floors in a fucking row. This is ridiculous. Sleepy time for you. I realize you're going to fight a little green ball buddy that's going to end up hitting me, aren't you? Yep. He didn't hit me, though. Good. <sighs> Fucking Mars, three floors in a row. That's actually infuriating. Didn't want to use Mars there at all. Fucking stop using Mars. Oh my god. Again, these rooms are like perfect candidates for using a uh, thingy, what's its name? Sleepy mud. Sleepy time. Because it's an instant recharge. Okay, good. At least I can use it to get through rooms a bit faster, I guess. But you watch, I'll do that and like careen myself straight into a fire or something. Just adding so much unnecessary stress right now. Like, so much unnecessary stress. This run's got, like, it's so fucking good. But this game is like, nah, 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 nah. There's no, not enough stress in your run here. Also, what the fuck with this wrong way? This was a hell of a wrong way. So much of a dead end. Like, this, I've never seen a dead end that large. Very upsetting. At least we're getting, like, really consistent flies and stuff, which is, like, helping out a ton. Divorce papers? Nice. Certainly welcome the fire rate increase, because our fire rate has been pretty low for a while. More keys are welcome, too. Slightly scary room there. Oh, God. It's going well. Don't know what that is. I'm not going to take the gamble. It could, like, be an entire run reroll or something. You never know with those machines. It could be any active, so... Mars, you little cunt. There better be a coin on this floor somewhere. I don't think there is. Mars, you little shithead of a piece of crap. Fuck you, largely. I was just about to say, if I can't find a penny, I'm spawning myself one in, because that's some horse shit right there. Fuck you, Mars.
Luckily, basically one holy light and this guy gets absolutely fucking creamed. Unfortunately. Oh, there you go. Mars! You shit! If I get Mars next floor, I'm going to slaughter some people. <laughs> no, but I am going to be very annoyed if I get Mars again. Okay. The two hard things are done now. We didn't get Mars this time. Good. Luda? Is Luda something we'd want? No, right? Um, let's see how this does. Doesn't do anything. I'm going to see if I want to use Molding Clay or anything else. I don't think we want Luda. Excuse me, what the fuck? Um. So, it seems that the um, 3D glasses are pretty broken. With Especially with the thing that has the, the circling shots around you. Who would have thought? Wow. Okay. The 3D glasses are uh, pretty pretty busted. Especially with Brainworm too. Because it means that everything's hitting still. Yeah, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm liking this setup. <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. Get to sleep, you bitch. Stay the hell away from me, you devil spawn. Never-ending nightmares. It just never stops. Why do you have so many segments, you big fuck? Never-ending nightmare. Right. Don't know where I've been. Don't know where I've gone. I'm confused. This thing with Brainworm is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and then Holy Light on top of it's pretty good too. Oh shit, there's lasers there. I didn't even see those. Like, the fact that 3D Glasses works is with Trisagion... It's probably not intentional, right? The fact that it's it's firing actual brimstones. Um, I'm not quite sure why that is. But I fucking love it. I'll say that. I fucking love it. No chests so no chests so far. Making our way through. What on earth kind of noise was that? Come on, boss. Where are you? Reveal yourself to me, please. Blur. No thanks. Wow. Okay, here's the boss. Unfortunately, this guy is a three phaser now, so it's going to be a little bit harder, but I wouldn't say a lot harder. Yeah. Right, now to actually attempt Mega Satan. We'll see how this goes. Luda might be good for Mega Satan, but I'm, I'm not going to take Luda just in case it breaks something that we've got going on here, because we have something going on here. Didn't mean to enter this room, but should be fine. What in the fuck? That's amazing. I can't remember where we're going here. What disc is this? I should check what disc this is. Boss disc. Yeah, I'll take that. Don't think there's any boss items that can screw us over too badly. Yeah, decent. Right. Now we just gotta hope for the best in this floor. So 
So far, so good. Mm. The 3D glasses, whatever they're doing with Trisagian, is absolutely busted, and I love it. In every single way, it's so broken. It's so broken. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm saving my book for the second phase. Look at that damage output. It's absolutely nuts. I love this. Right, book him, just in case. I don't think it'll do much for us, but... Unfortunately, I think we're going to get hit here. I'm, I'm hoping that our bubble saves us, but this is just too many shots on screen for me to dodge, right? I don't think there's basically anything I can do to not get hit here, which is a real shame because... Oh, wait. Damn it. Oh, no, no. I didn't get hit. Okay, I thought I got hit there. Created an opening for myself. Come on, do the thing. Why are you not doing the thing? Do the insta-kill. Hey, there you go. Wow, okay. So, first keeper run. Um, unfortunately, we died, but this one... Wow. Amazing. I hope everyone enjoyed that one, because that was... Oh, my God. Just amazing. Yep. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.